Hey everyone, Allegorix here, coming at you with a pretty cool couple of updates here from BSG regarding Escape from Tarkov Arena. Sorry, I tried to get these out to you guys right when they hit. Uh, they caught me lacking this time a little bit. Let's jump right into it. We're going to go over this roadmap that they released. Starting over here on the left, we've got... Um, the 0.15 gameplay patch into February. So that is going to be in the next week or two. So that is pretty exciting. We've got improvements to ranked mode. They've got a preset tier system. So obviously we have that already. Um, these are just improvements to that. A little bit vague. Hopefully this is just leading into this next thing here where you have the ability to select a preset tier before matchmaking. That is a great change. Definitely something that people have been asking for. Myself, I've been asking for this. This is something that should absolutely be implemented as soon as possible. Selecting a preset tier after you've already found a match just causes a lot of different imbalances. Jumping into the preset system rework, complete preset rebalance. So I, it looks like they're going to take a whole top-down review of all the presets and classes in the game. This is going to be really interesting how they approach this. The way that they put it here, it looks like they're going to change damn near everything. Uh, there are a lot of things that need reworking, need tweaking, all that stuff. So they definitely have their work cut out for them. I just hope that that's how they've been using their time since they've been pretty quiet the last few weeks about the game. So hopefully a lot of good things coming there. Improvements to the preset leveling system. Really hope that this means better experience management as far as like unlocking classes goes. Like maybe um, you can unlock more things at one time. Maybe you can select multiple presets that get unlocked while you play any class. So like if you're playing Assault Werewolf, maybe you can have selected a couple of things in the CQB tree or... You could have something also selected in the scout tree and maybe like some experience would funnel into that. So maybe this is just more streamlined and, and just user friendly way of unlocking things. Without going too overboard on the experience, um, I think if you just start shoveling experience out left and right, it kind of defeats the purpose of the leveling system anyway. So anyway, we'll have to see what they mean by that. Team limit on buying same presets in a match. This is interesting. I wonder if they're only going to limit that to teams who queue in together. Of course, if they're going to do this, they absolutely need to allow you to pick it in lobby. However, I don't know if that's a first come first serve, first person to click on that class. Could create some tension between teammates, team killing, whatnot. I'm not sure how exactly they're going to approach implementing that limit. I do think it's a good idea in some ways, you know, not having like maybe five butchers on the team or something like that, which hopefully is going to be a part of this preset rebalancing thing. You need to be careful how they implement that. I'm not sure what the limit cap would be. Um, hitbox and armor system from Escape from Tarkov. So for those of you who do not play much Tarkov or are just not aware of the new armor system they implemented this wipe, essentially most armors are armor carriers now where you can put different sorts of plates in there. So for example, if you have a armor plate carrier that has an Aramid covering of level two armor, that armor without any plates inside of it would essentially act as level two to whatever spots it's covering on your body. And then you can insert plates to it, level three, four, five plates, whatever level plates will fit inside of the rig. And those plates will contribute their protection to whatever parts of your body those plates cover. So it would not always be the same protection areas you would get with the Aramid because the plates have their own hitboxes. So... If it's a diamond shaped plate, you have a diamond shaped protection of tier three, four, five armor, whatever level the plate is. And on top of that, you get the Aramid armor as well. There's a lot of ins and outs of the new armor system. You can definitely look into it. There's a lot of great videos out there on YouTube that dive deep into it for a little bit more information. All of that should translate over 100% to Arena once they implement this armor system. Improvements to custom lobbies. I love to see this. Configurable available presets. That's great. Actually, there's a tournament that we're working on right now where we are trying to limit the presets that the players can use. Beyond that, we have the configurable character skill level, setting limits, I'm sure, to ARP level or some other number that they might come up with, or maybe even set the limit on meta points that can be selected. Um, configuring the number of rounds needed for victory, just a great customization option there. Uh, so you can have them play to 
I don't know, two, three, four, 10, 20, who knows? So um, pre-configurable team names, that's gonna be really fun. So I'm glad they're adding that, that's gonna be cool. A chop shop location for team fight mode. So yeah, into February, we're gonna have essentially a new map and team fight, not completely a new map. It is nice that they are expanding on this and giving another option for the team fight players and game client performance optimization, good stuff there, always welcome. All right, jumping over to the content patch 0.16 in mid spring. Got new location, so a new map uh, called Block. Very excited to see that. The new game mode, Last Hero. Just as a reminder for everybody, if you are in Last Hero, uh, the, la the strongest survives. You are on your own. This is like a free for all game mode, everybody running around, killing each other. Um, not sure if there's respawns or not. My guess would be not. Don't know how many players are going to be in it. Also having it just another game mode to choose and run around in. That's great. All right. And then finally, a lot of people have been constantly asking for this. Um, we have unranked mode coming out. So, you know, simple as that. It's just going to be an unranked mode. Fun, run around. Don't have to worry about ARP. Practice stuff. Obviously, it, it's implied that unlocking kits in unranked would also mean you have them in ranked. I would only assume so. Should not even be part of the conversation, really. I could see, however, in unranked mode, having the experience gain for kits being a little bit lower than in ranked mode. That would be an interesting way to balance that out a little bit, just to kind of reward ranked players just a little bit more for playing ranked. Uh, quality of life improvements, always good. Cleanup crew behavior improvements, hopefully getting around some exploits that are in the game and some of their AI and fixing how they lock onto players, who they lock onto, where they spawn. I think a lot of that needs work. So hopefully that goes into this, but it looks like they're just focusing on their behavior, which is definitely in need of some improvement. So good to see that. Game client performance optimization, good stuff. Anti-cheat improvements, great. The lots of work needed there. Synchronization of Escape from Tarkov and Escape from Tarkov Arena game profiles. So this is something they have been talking about since they've brought up the whole arena thing. So they're going to sync the two systems. To my knowledge, they haven't delved too deeply into what that exactly entails, but it does seem that the two can communicate with each other, whether that means moving money back and forth between the two accounts. Um, I'm not sure how deep this goes, whether it, it, it includes skills, you share skills with each other, uh, communicate, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see, but that'll be interesting. Implementation of overtime system and team fight. They do definitely need an overtime system in some way if they do want to balance out ranked. So I imagine this might be something like if it's four to five, uh, you might have to win by two. So um, if it's four, four and one team wins and gets five points, they don't win. They actually have to win to get the six or, or something like that. That that could be something uh, that also could create really long lobbies in those instances. So we'll have to see how they tackle that. Now, Midsummer, so a bit later in the year here, a few months down the road, we're getting point two content patch. Preset customizations, ability to modify equipment presets and the weapons in them. So what does this mean? I hope that it means you have the ability to modify only the pool of equipment that they make available for you in that preset. I really hope that this does not come down to a point where you have a ton of customization, as cool as customization is on weapons, and it's absolutely what Tarkov, one of the things that Tarkov was built on, and in arena, a competitive shootout format, that's a bit dodgy, really just allowing total freedom on customization because you're just going to build an exact meta very quickly. There's going to be a few people that just build really just insane kits with as good as they can have, and then that's just going to be the benchmark. And that's what everybody's going to run. So they definitely need to couple this with their improvements to the tier systems and to the presets themselves, giving them really balanced, solid options to be able to pick and choose from, and maybe modify some of the equipment that you have attached to the gun, or maybe have a small pool of ammo to choose from, something like that. So, so hopefully that's where they're going with that. Um, another new map coming later in the year, so that's great. New game mode. Um, we can only assume that it is the other grayed out game mode on their search screen, which is essentially, it looks like a survival version, so like a co-op against AI or something like that. Various technical and functional improvements, always good. Quality of life, custom lobby, match history. That's going to be great. I'm hoping maybe one day they will expand on this as well to go into match replays. That would be really cool. Ability to view player profiles. They already have this functionality in Tarkov and an achievement system. So that's pretty cool. Have stuff to kind of work on, work towards, give players a reason to do cool and unique things. So that is all great. 
Okay, so a lot of stuff coming. They have been sitting on this for a little while, so I'm glad they are finally putting this out there, letting us know that there is some really cool stuff coming. You know, it looks like it's all going in the right direction, but we'll have to see what they end up deciding here in the next couple of weeks. Let me know what you guys think about these changes, if you think BSG is going the right way, if you think that there's some things on here that shouldn't be or things are not on here that should be on here. What do you guys think? I'm excited always to see the development of the game. It's still a fresh, brand new game. There's a lot to be done with it. It's a blank canvas as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm really excited, but I, I want to hear what you guys think. So let me know down below and let's let's talk about it. All right, moving along really quick, um, a little bonus update here from BSG on Arena. They put up this image here. That is to show an in-game event here. During this in-game event, all players will receive 5 million rubles. So if you are struggling with rubles, this is something you definitely want to take advantage of. Um, not that I, I think don't even have to log in. I think it just goes in there no matter what. Um, but you are getting your 5 million rubles. So a nice little boost to people who may be a bit down bad. So no more Goodman for you. You got the big money. Um, in addition, access to all class presets with MP ratings up to 500 is available for everyone. So that is super cool. I'm glad they're doing this. So in addition to getting your 5 million rubles, you are also getting to play a bunch of classes that you might not otherwise have been able to play. It gives you a chance to kind of branch out, test stuff out, check out like the mid-level, mid to upper level level of uh, other trees. So that is a super cool little event. I'm really glad they're doing that. I am not sure if those contribute to XP to unlock things. So like if you have if you don't have the tier one, but you're playing the tier five, does it unlock things underneath it? And then when the event's over. So I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So anyway, those are all the changes. I love the roadmap. Roadmap's fantastic. This is a cool little in-game event. I'm really excited that they're doing stuff like this in Arena. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But that is all that I have for you guys today. Until the next one, peace.